guys. This is Speed, Diamond in the Rough. Look at this camera straight on. Um, how are you guys doing today? Okay, so as you see, yum yum box. And it wasn't long ago that I did one of these. It's because my last yum yum box came at the very end of November. And today's date is the 18th of December. So um, it arrived today. Unboxing it today. Oh, I'm going to get in and give these guys a go. Now, these yums have travelled all the way from everywhere. This is actually their Christmas edition. So this should hold different Christmas snacks from around the world. That's my impression of what I'm supposed to be getting here. So, some I expect will be, you guys may recognise, and uh, so you'll get to see my reaction to some of these. Uh, first things first though. Let, let's cut this thing open. Okay. Oh. Please no dark chocolate. It's the only one thing I don't want is dark chocolate. <laughs> Okay, so yumderful. <laughs> Just a quick look at the top. Got a few things in there. So let's move this to the side and work our way through. Okay, so back in a sec. Sorry, guys. I have a uh, dog that doesn't like anything out the front. For those of you that are seeing this for the first time, I have a dog that nobody is allowed to sit. Nobody is allowed to go to the front of the house where he can see them. So um, there, yeah, that was actually someone going past. Okay, so the most yumderful time of the year today. Menorahs hold wax candles, but they originally burned olive oil. Reindeer are the only deer species in which both males and females grow antlers. All sorts of interesting things and um, just a little, uh, can't get that properly for you. So that's just the little uh, guide to what's in there and the camera is not focusing. Bear with me while I make sure this camera focuses when I need it to focus. Let's see how that goes. There we go. So this is where you get to choose best. I actually don't go through that, but it's cool anyway. Now these, so, yumderful. Holiday adventure, let the yum box adventure begin. <laughs> no dark chocolate, please. <laughs> um... Just a few little interesting things. There's trivia, uh, which you can go through the questions. Oh, what are those? In Japan, it's good luck for your first dream of the new year to include an eggplant, a hawk, Mount Fuji, Mount Fuji, or a bamboo stalk. Mm, I don't know the answer. Okay, okay. Oh, there's baklava in there. Oops, I went too far ahead, didn't I? Okay. Okay, right yeah. So first one, let's go looking for this. Oh, it's right on top. Snack gold raspberry potato crisps. Okay, let's see if we can read those. Raspberry potato chips. They might seem a little strange, but they're inspired by a Spanish New Year tradition. See what Spaniards make their champagne toast to the new year. It's not just for general good luck. Locals believe that, that by putting a specific object in your glass of champagne where you drink, you'll find different fortunes in the new year. Those who are hoping for increased wealth put a gold coin in their glasses. Know what I'm doing at New Year's. Whereas people looking for love would drop in a raspberry. That's where these chips come in. Made with real raspberries, they take this new year tradition and turn it into a delightfully balanced sweet and savoury snack. Eat them on New Year's Eve with a coin in your glass 
and toast salud i hope i got that right salud okay time to start opening these packets okay so snack gold Gourmet potato chip, crisp raspberry flavour. Mmm, sounds interesting. Does sound interesting. Okay, how do we feel about this one? How full is the okay? <laughs> Half a pack of the chips. <laughs> Ooh, interesting smell. It does smell like raspberries. Okay, here we go. Digging in. <laughs> uh, it's always interesting when I'm doing these. Oh. It's more, when you breathe in, you get the taste of it, but the, you get the raspberry, but it's, so you get the first initial hit of raspberry and then you get the potato chip. Different, very weird, weird different. Mm. Okay, so far, that's nice. Mm. <clears throat> okay, let's pull the next one out. Let's get into a routine here. Nube Latte Cream Americana El Fajor Tico Nubilate Crema Americana. Okay. In the past five years of travelling around the world, we've never had a chance to visit Uruguay until now. Oh wow. Turns out they have a lot of new holiday traditions to learn from. For starters, there's no such thing as a white Christmas in Uruguay. <laughs> The holiday falls in summer when it can be over 100 degrees. Sounds a bit like Australia. <laughs> there are also no silent nights. It's local tradition to set off ear-popping fireworks on Christmas. And we get some places to do Christmas fireworks here. There's more. Santa goes by the name Papa Noel. Eggnog is replaced with dry and sweet wines called Medio Medio. Instead of gathering around the fireplace, locals gather around the fire, around the fiery perilla grill for a traditional asado barbecue. Even the cookies are different in place of gingerbread men. You'll find El Fogoros, These popular chocolate coated sandwich cookies come with a variety of fillings from oh dolce leche to the rich vanilla cream, and you'll find it in your box. Uruguay, you're back. Uh, I know Dolce Le Z Leche. I think that is caramel, but this is chocolate coated biscuit with cream filling. Okie dokie. Oh. There's only one of these. I'll eat this one fully. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, look in there. Okay, it's, <laughs> oh no, it's not dark chocolate, oh, okay, we're in Australia, <laughs> Posty's only just recently delivered this, <laughs> so it's a tad melted, so I'm not going to squeeze it out of the packet, let's turn this over, okay, there you go, you get a better look at it. It is a tad melted, but yum. Yeah, chocolate in Australia. <laughs> okay, I'm trying not to get covered in chocolate here. Okay, here we go. Mm. Oh, yummy. Oh, yummy. Mm. That's a really nice chocolate. And a really nice cream in it. I that one's on my plate so far. 
I might have only done two. This is yummy. This is really yummy. Well, I suppose I better keep putting them in their order. Excuse me. Here's an action I prepared earlier. <laughs> okay. Bunda Nasorti Alpine Nut Cake. That's not that one. Oh, okay. Mm. Cool. Another little little packet. Baby, it's cold outside. What? Hang on a sec. I might zoom in there because I'll be able to read from there. Cake filled with walnuts and honey. Mm. Baby, it's cold outside, but not as cold as the Swiss Alps. According to locals, a typical year there consists of nine months of winter and three months of cold. Orchid, if you're watching this, so I hope this is right. Um, residents of the rustic mountain towns are constantly snow trudging, shoveling, wood splitting, skiing and working up a gnarly appetite. That's where this yum comes in, a crumbly, high-energy pastry filled with caramelised walnuts and, no, the, no, filled with caramel walnuts. The Nastort was invented in the 1920s to fuel the intense local lifestyle. No, nowadays it's a hungry, popular, it's a hugely popular holiday gift across the country. One bite and you'll see why. With its honey nut filling and sweet crumbly outside, this yum will have the feeling, have you feeling all warm and fuzzy in even the nippiest weather. <laughs> okay, I'm so glad that put crumbling then. There, I am uh, pulling out the plate. <laughs> okay, let's see how we go. So that's it there. Bunna Nastoto. Totally. Who knows? Okay, here we go. Oh, smells good. Oh, look. Is that a um, pastry? Is a, it's a like a short, short, short crust pastry. Pastry. So hang on. Here we go. Mmm. Oh. Funny enough, it does make me think of Christmas. Almost close to fruit mince pies that we get. Oh, yum. Oh, I do like that one. Mmm. Oh. Here we go. Two sweet snacks are beating the uh, savoury snack. Okay. Next one, Taratilli con semi di finocchio. This is my guessing, Italian. Ah, oh, yes, look at that. I just found it. Made in Malta, Italy. Just because of the way it was, yeah, just that's an Italian way of that thing. By the time Christmas Day rolls around, hang on, what's, let's get into that. Wheat snack with fennel seeds. Okay, hmm. By the time Christmas Day rolls around in Italy, locals are very hungry. Why? In the Catholic, in the Catholic Church, Christmas Eve is considered a Giomo di magro or lean day when food consumption is limited to remain is limited to remain pure for the next day. But while Christmas Eve is all about restraint, Italian Christmas is all about indulgence. Even before the main feast of tortellini, roasted lamb and pork sausages, locals enjoy holiday aperitivos, mouthwatering appetizers served with wine. Loaded with favoured fennel seed flavorful fennel seeds and baked to perfection. 
These crunchy Torelli rings are a traditional aperitivo favourite for the holidays. Feel free to save these beloved bites for your own holiday dinner or just scarf them down now. However you go about enjoying them, this Italian, tradi this Italian tradition is downright delicioso. Okay. Um, yum, 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 yum. Here we go. Open up. Almost looks like I'm um, in Australia, a pretzel in Australia. <coughs> I can smell the fennel. Okay, let's find a little one. Okay, there we go. Gonna focus on it. Yeah. Oh, it's hard. Taste of fennel and a seed flavour. That second one, second bit. I heard it is a bit strange, but yep, um, they fit in that order. Another vehicle going past the um, house. Okay, shocker month. Chocolate Monk roasted almond milk chocolate with roasted almonds. Oh, we've got a chocolate bar. Premium milk chocolate roasted almonds and made in Germany. Cool. Stone cold coffee. Heike stone cold coffee crust. I'm wondering whether you like these. And camera focus, please. There we go. Come December, Germany transforms into a land of world famous Christmas markets. Open air plazas across the country are filled with hundreds of red footed stalks, each decorated with tinkling white lights and packed with a variety of festive foods and giftable goodies. Let's focus in on the festive foods we just described. Direct from the Chris Kindy Markt, we have one of the most famous of these foods to share with you. Aromatic, aromatic hot roasted almonds. In the markets you can smell them before you have to weave through the crowds to get to them. But for you, there's something else standing in the way. First you have to make it through the layer of creamy German milk chocolate. We didn't say it was a bad obstacle. Then the caramelised almonds will make their grand entrance. It's a bit of a Christ, bit of Christmas magic. Okay, premium milk chocolate. This sounds really yummy. Caramel, almonds, dairy milk chocolate. That's all me. A yum. They sound yummy. Smells good. <laughs> okay. I'll turn it over. I can see that. There we go. Break one off. Only one. Come on. I'll pack that back up. Wrap that back up a bit. Which way do these go? Okay, okay. There. It's all wrapped up. Let's give this a go. Mm. Okay. I don't know if you can hear the crunch. Um, definitely not like Australian chocolate. Australian chocolate is very different to any other country. It's crunchy bit, but it's hard to tell there are almonds in there. I 
I do get like a caramel, a toffee type feeling, taste. But it's not big on the high on the list, so that one's there. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. To me, that's just a, a chocolate. I'm just going to zoom in on that packet. Try to zoom in on the image that's on there. There we go. Yeah, so it's only little tiny pieces of. Um, it's hardly noticeable. Apart from the fact that you get the stuck in your teeth. <laughs> okay, next page. Goldilocks, Goldilocks, Ubi, Polvorum. Okay, let's see if I can. Okay, that looks a bit interesting. Anyone like purple? I like purple. I give up on this autofocus. Filipino is shortbread. If you're looking to celebrate New Year's Eve the Filipino way, you'd better gather round, literally. You see, during media, not the Philippines version of New Year's Eve, locals surround themselves with as many round items as possible. Why? In Filipino culture, roundness symbolizes money. So the more circular items one collects, the more lucrative their year is said to be. Locals set out bowls of round fruits, wear polka dotted clothes, fill their pockets with coins and save a delicious circular pulverin. This extra special variety is made with a sweet purple yam called oob. Ubi? Hmm. Which is typically reserved for special occasions since it takes so long to prepare. If the Filipino tradition holds true, all the hard work that went into this crumbly yum will have an amazing payoff, and not just for your tongue. Okay, so let's get, yet again, they called it crumbly. So out comes the play. Mmm, okay. Thai Moon Shop. Rowena and Reggie. Uh, do you guys like this? That's if you're watching this. Hmm. It's a different smell, I can tell you that much. But it's so purple. Okay, I'm going to, yeah, it is crumbly. I'm going to cut a bit off. I'm not going to bite it. Ooh. Um, that cutting, I don't know if you've seen where people use knives to slice sand. But that's what that just felt like. Okay, there we go. Focus. We're going to focus on that. Nope. Oh, it's got a weird texture to it. But it is nice. The texture is, well, like I just cut it, it, <coughs> and I don't mean to be rude in this way, but it's like a, a very fine sand, not, but not gritty. Be interesting to know what flour was used in that, because that was really nice, and it, mm, yum, yum. Um, guess what? That goes up there. I could eat more of them. So could eat more of them. Okay, next is okay. Chips. Get them back. Sibel. Pullet bra braised chips. So my guessing is chicken. 
let's have a quick read of that little whoops bit underneath if it's going to focus on it roasted chicken flavored potato chips okay that pullet just gave it away as being chicken ready for a taste of luxury you better be because in france the holidays are time to splurge on splurge on food both Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve are known for their lavish, lengthy dinners called Revellions. The traditional menu includes everything from Hooters, grilled oysters, to escargot, garlicky snails, to foie gras, foie gras. <laughs> sorry, I know how it sounds and it doesn't sound like the way I said it, uh, plump, drunk li plump duck liver. All accompanied by some of the world's finest champagne. But the star of the meal is undoubtedly the capon, an especially tender roast, rooster roast, the cost, the cost of which starts at $50. Lucky for the roosters of France, no real meat went into these chips, but lucky for you, tons of luxurious roast chicken flavour did. Go ahead and crunch into your own personal Revillion. Okay, let's have an opening of this. Oh, can smell the chicken. Oh, and it's more than half a packet of chips. <laughs> the chips, the packet's pretty. Chicken stock. This is what this smells like. Chicken stock. So there's going to be a really strong smell of chicken. Strong taste of chicken. It tastes like chicken chicken soup. <laughs> For me, that tastes like chicken soup. And to be more precise, chicken noodle soup is what that tastes like. Oh, that's yummy. Um, that one's above there. There we go. Oh, they were really nice. Savories are starting. Might get up the top there yet. Okay. Jabri mixed baklava. Oh, oh, look at that. This is boxed. Okay. Which, if we read the red print, and I can only read the red print on here when it actually focuses. There we go. Hang on. I'm going to press the magic button that does autofocus. Filo dough, sweet with syrup, cashews, and pistachios. Ramadan was in spring this year, but it's still winter holiday sometimes. You see, the third day Muslim holiday is held in the ninth month of the lunar cycle, which moves steadily backward every year. So Ramadan will begin in April in 2020, March in 2023, and so on. The next time it will fall in December, 11 years from now, in 2030. Regardless of when holiday lands, regardless of when the holiday lands, the traditions remain unchanged. Locals abstract abstain from daytime eating for the whole month and when the fast ends they feast on the country's best sweets baklava with its syrupy nut filling and layers of flaky dough is a top choice for the occasion nine million jordanians look forward to it every year and so do our local universal yums adventurers who voted it best yum in our last two holiday boxes this year we had to keep up the delicious tradition and include these two varieties, a traditional cashew version and a stringy pistachio filled vermicelli style one, even if we're a little early. Okay, so. Oh, oh yum, 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 yum. <laughs> I'm only, I only do that whenever I'm dealing with the yum, yum, yum box. Okay.
These are nicely packaged. Very nicely packaged. And the bit. There we go. Eight pieces in here. That's better. Um, yeah. Now how do I... Oh, okay. There we go. I need to lift that up. There we go. Oh. Oh, it is very nicely packaged, isn't it? Oh, wow. Gosh, it is done up like a real treat, isn't it? Okay. So there's one with the stringy pistachio filled vermicelli style. I'm going to leave that one. I might eat that another time. But I'm going to have one of the traditional cashew version. Okay, so there we go. Have a... <laughs> no, not going to focus. How about if I do that? That is a tad sticky. Uh, oh. Nope. If I compare it to the box we got for Greece, which was a September box, whoops, there we go, it's crumbling away. Um, the Greek baklava is so much better. Um, hmm. <laughs> it's sweet but not overly sweet. It is sweet. It's nice. Right? It is nice. Oh. Okay, seal up again. There we go. It's it's a dry, dry baklava. Um, there we go. That's going to fit in there. I've still got a few more to go. Okay. Our U Tortenecken a la Wiener Apple Strudel. My guessing is this is apple strudel. Mm, which one is it? I just saw something I shouldn't have seen. <laughs> okay. Okay. So it's a wafer. Oh. Oh wow. Okay. What does the red print say there? Wafer with apple strudel cream filling. And I'm impressed already. Without even tasting it. Let's see if it tastes as good as it sounds. This apple strudel sweet only exists because of a previous yum we tried. Can you guess which one? Okay, we'll tell you. It's the one right above this one, the Jordanian baklava. Back in the 16th century, the Ottoman Empire first introduced baklava to Vienna. Nearly 200 years later, Austrians hatched into an ingenious idea to borrow Baklava's uber thin dough and add spiced apples. The decadent result, apple strudel, became an overnight national sensation. Today, no Austrian holiday, particularly Christmas, is complete without a hearty portion of this dessert. We're going to warn you now, though. After one bite, this cinnamony cream filled wafer will be something you'll crave for. You'll crave for all future Christmases. Thanks a lot, Baklava. Okay, so the wafer came from Baklava. That's interesting. Okay. Mm. I <laughs> just don't know where to cut that. I will bring that up. So you can see 
a la Wiener Echtstrudel. Mm. I'm thinking, I'm eating some of these these foods and thinking immediately of um, orchid and thinking, do you like this? Do you like this? <laughs> okay. Oh, so this is. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. So that's it there. Uh, gosh, 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 gosh. I don't know how to hold it so you can, it'll focus on it. I'm only going to break a little bit off and I know this is going to crumble. So, oh, no, it didn't crumble. I'll pop that back in there and let's see. Oh, yum. Oh, that's yummy. Oh, wow. Mmm. So it's a nice way for a little creamy, but not too creamy. And then taste the apple cinnamon. Mmm. Guess what? Let's put those back that way. Put that there. That there. <laughs> that one just went top of the charts. <laughs> mm. Okie dokie, I've still got some more, lots more food to go with. Friday oat. Okay, I'm frowning. And I know I'm frowning. It's just like coastal garlic salters. Salted filled sticks. So what's the red print saying? Wheat pretzel sticks with garlic filling. <laughs> okay. Do you want to know what your future holds in 2020? Do as the Croatians do and plant some wheat. Following a centuries-old tradition, locals plant small bowls of Bozikna, Psenka, or Christmas wheat, on St Lucia's Day, December 13th. Wheat grows for nearly two weeks until Christmas Eve when families gather to see how tall it's gotten. The taller the wheat, the luckier the family. It is said to be in the new year. Fuel. That's a lot of pressure to put on wheat. But don't worry. But don't worry, these wheat pretzels, pretzel sticks have got you covered. Unlike ordinary pretzels, this Croatian variety is deliciously garlicky and extremely tall. Go ahead and crunch on your way to the great 2020. Okay. Close up to that. That looks like it's pouring out. <laughs> Salt filled sticks. Okay. I love garlic, but there we go. Okay. Oh, so they are little tiny pretzel sticks, and I only want a little one. Oh, really smell the garlic. Yum. Oh. Oh. That had a bit of a sting to it. Very garlicky. Very garlicky. <clears throat> Very. <laughs> oh, but I like that. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, gosh. It's terrible when you make decisions like that. That one and then that one. Yum. That's really nice. Okay. This is what I saw that, that I went woohoo about. White cinnamon cookie, cookie Belgian chocolate. All I saw on the packaging was Belgian chocolate. <laughs> Okay, so that says white chocolate with 
cinnamon cookie pieces. Oh, yum. White cinnamon cookie. Nom, 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 Okay, here we go. During the holiday season, it's quite common to see wreaths, garlands, and colourful lights decorating people's doors, but shoes filled with carrots. Not as common unless you're in Belgium. Every December 5th on the eve of St Nicholas Day, children fill their shoes with carrots and place them outside their doors for the man named Sinker, Sinter Claus. According to local law, Sinter Claus travels all across Belgium on his white horse looking for shoes left out by locals. While his noble steed snacks on the carrots, he refills the shoes with presents and treats. The most common St Nicholas Day gifts for small, are small toys like marbles, Belgian chocolates and traditional cinnamon cookies called speculoos. You'll get a great, you'll get to taste the latter two in delicious holiday harmony with this decadent cookie filled white chocolate bar. Our advice, savour this yum while it lasts. When it's gone, it'll leave some pretty huge shoes to fill. <laughs> oh, look at how thin that is. Okay. Oh, and how do I open this? Gently, I know is one of the ways. Oh, wrapped in foil. Okay. And it's actually a little bit melted. <laughs> uh, like I keep saying, it's not like Australian chocolate. Australian chocolate, just as a heads up, has been modified so that it doesn't melt in the Australian heat. It's designed for hot temperatures. But here we go. There's a bit's broken off already. So I'm going to try that piece. But that's what it, that's what it looks like. Okay, little piece. Uh, there is real, real strong, really, <laughs> really strong cinnamon to that. But like it. <laughs> Once the chocolate melts, you get a really good hit of, of cinnamon. Oh, yum. That's nice. Mm. Now, where am I going to put that back? Where am I going to put that? Um. Mm. Oh, geez. I must be having a sweet taste, sweet touch sweet tooth today because all my savouries are coming down the bottom but yeah that's where I'll put that one wasn't too bad okie dokie two to go Mr Ito pretzel sand almond caramel which is this is this Japan Just by the writing as I'm picking up on Japan, saying it's thinking it's Japan. And what does that say? Pretzel cookies with caramel almond filling. Oh, sounds good. 2020 is about to begin, and in Japan, that means one thing. <clears throat> it's time to forget 2019 ever happened. In mid-December, friends convene at casual bars for a traditional bonakai or forget-the-year gathering, where they eat, drink, and release the year's stresses with a little... Biriko, the Japanese for letting your hair down. Still, there are some things folks don't want to forget. Achievements, time spent with loved ones, and of course, all the amazing food. A prime example, the country's uber popular sand cookies, named after the Jam Japanese nickname for sandwich. Like the almond and caramel cream filled pretzel variety in your box. 
with their sweet and salty deliciousness. They're even better suited for a shinokai, a traditional party held in mid-January, when locals share all the things they're looking forward to in the year to come. But we have a hunch they won't last till then. Okay, so they're showing an image of pretzel and caramel and oh, all looks good. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Everything is in a different language. Everything is in Japanese except for the one that says open. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's all Japanese except for the bit that tells you to, oh, we have, where to open it. Okay, so here we go. Oops. Oh, cool. And they're individually wrapped. Oh, and crumbly as. Okay. Let's see the... They're all individually wrapped there. And that's as crumbly as, so I'm going to need to put the plate under my chin again. Okay, what does this smell like? Almond and caramel. Oh, yum. <laughs> Just the smell. <laughs> Okay, that's a, that's a bit confusing. That is confusing. It is savoury and it is sweet. Oh, there's two wafers in there. Okay. Savoury <coughs> savory and sweet. Oh. Mm -mm. That's the one. This one is top. Mm. Oh, yum. Oh, yum. Mm. Seriously, guys, that is delicious. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, that's bumped everything down. Because I actually put that one top of the list. Look at that. Oh, yum. I really do. I really do like that. That's really, really. Mm. And I'm supposed to, I take these to work and share with my workmates. They're individually packed. They're perfect for work. But how many make it to work is another question. Okie dokie. And for the last one. Kopernik Serko Toniski, and which reads gingerbread with black currant icing. <laughs> Legendary smack. <laughs> gingerbread is a Yuletide favourite all over the world, but no one loves gingerbread more than the more than those in Turin, Poland. The city first started baking the spice, spi spiced sweets locally called Piniki Toronski in the 13th century. In the 13th century, fast work forward to today, and Turin has become a gingerbread capital of the world, boasting dozens of artisan Piniki bakeries and famous Piniki Museum and Poland's largest Piniki confectioner, Kopernik. As popular as post Polish. Paniki is year round, it's somehow even more pervasive during the holiday season. It's one of 12 classic Polish Christmas dishes and is even used to decorate Christmas trees. Ready to taste what all the hype is about? One bite of this special yum, complete with a sweet black currant berry icing, and you'll realize nowhere in the world does gingerbread quite like Toron. That's why we have it. <laughs> I like that legendary smack. <laughs> okay, let's see how this goes. Oh, 
Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's a strong gingerbread smell. That's a big snack. That's a big snack. That's big. That's what she said. <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> oops. <laughs> Here we go. Um, that's really, really nice. The gingerbread's not overpowering, so I don't eat much in the way of gingerbread because I find gingers in them is just too overpowering. But that is not overpowering. And I can really taste the black currant in there. Oh, yeah, very nice. Yep. All right. Put that on the plate. Um, it is nice, but I put, there we go, that's the order of it. Wow, I got a box where I loved everything. Really fantastic, really good box, and I got a lot of stuff that I like. Mmm, yum, 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 yum. Okay. There's some recipes in here. Kinder Punch. Children's Punch, Cola di Mono, Monkey's Tail, Chili and Christmas Drink. Okay. Sorry, I was just reading the recipe. got lost. Um, welcome to 2020. There will be so many amazing cultural sites here, just three. So we're going to, oh, my guessing is, February might be Japan, March, no idea, April, my guessing is uh, Denmark. That's only a guess on Denmark. Um, okay, buttery cookies and busy, hazelnut cream. This year we've got one really exciting announcement, something we've never done before. We're launching our something you can, where you can something your favourite something. So there's a little puzzle to work through there. Um, clue to next month's box. Our next destination is full of fairy tale splendour, huge castle, crooked forest and a mermaid defender. That's Copenhagen. The yums too are enchanting. You'll be totally transfixed by dark chocolate marshmallows and some poppy seeds. It has to be Copenhagen. Huge castle, crooked forest, and the mermaid defender. I'm just thinking of um, Christian An Hans Christian Andersen's mermaid, um, who's I've actually seen that statue for her. Um, my guessing is Denmark. I hope. <laughs> Okay, and we might get some Danishes from Denmark. Okay, guys, so there we go. Um, hopefully I pronounced some of the words right. Um, hopefully you guys might like us. Give me a comment. What do you think? <laughs> Have I failed miserably translating some of the words? Mm. So down below... Um, down below you will actually see uh, links for the Universal Yums. Um, they do give you a discount. And my apologies, I can't remember what, how much that discount is. Um, but I would like to be able to let you know what the discount is. Okay, so if you want to have try these boxes out, do it like I did. I did it as a gift box to myself and I did six months worth um, so that then I wasn't having to pay every month. It was just one-off payment. But if you are interested in trying these, there is, oops, sorry, guys. There is a down below referral credit, $5 referral credit for your first order um, if you use the code below. If you use the code below, you will also give 
I will receive five dollar referral credit to pay be paid with my new, next renewal payment. So that actually drops the price of when I actually purchase um, Universal Yums. So there's an opportunity for you to get five dollars off your first purchase, which is it's not it's US dollars uh, for anybody. That's that's in US dollars, not Aussie dollars. Um, so yeah, guys. Hopefully, you guys have liked this. Let me know what you think. And I'm not going to ramble on for too much longer. I'm going to actually say a farewell now. So, guys, leave me a comment, thumbs up, thumbs down, subscribe. For those of you that are already subscribed, thank you very much. For those that are still tagging along to the end of this, please consider subscribing because every subscriber helps me out and. Um, the closer I get to the thousand, there's a little prize in there for the thousands when I reach the thousand subscribers. Um, and of course, hit the bell so you get notified when I do an upload. So guys, thank you for joining me for this one. My little holiday adventure with food. And I'll talk to you later. Bye for now.